Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, on Wednesday, we discussed printer technology. You know, from all the modern ones to the more historical ones. One interesting thing in common among printers, you know, back in the day, is how they actually connected to your computer. Of course, this is before the days of USB, so, well, printers actually had their own unique connection. And that is the parallel port. This is a very interesting looking connector because it's really long, it's quite exaggerated in terms of its size and shape, and it in fact has 25 connections. As its name implies, it can actually carry an entire byte, that is 8 bits at once. Even though there are many more connectors than that, well, each connector sort of serves its own purpose, and what we end up with are 8 data lines, allowing us to carry one byte at any point of time. This is of course useful in the context of printing because we want to stream, you know, quite a large volume of data from a computer to a printer. Being able to transfer 8 bits in parallel speeds things up. What's really interesting is that, you know, back in the days when people used command lines, it was actually very easy to send something to the printer. The printer was just any other stream, and what this means is all you have to do is to sort of redirect whatever it is you want to print, you know, usually a file, to the printer port, and your printer will go ahead and actually print it. We use the same technique these days to actually redirect inputs to a file, though in fact this capability actually works with ports and other streams as well. Of course, even though usually it's printers using the parallel port, they are not the only devices that can use them. Usually, anything that benefits from you know, being able to transfer a large amount of information at once can benefit from this port. Devices that need this speed tends to be, you know, say, a storage device or a device that actually works with media. Of course, today, parallel ports have basically fallen completely out of date, they don't ship with computers anymore, and there are very few devices on the market these days that actually makes use of this connection. So yeah, that was the humble parallel port. I hope you've gained some insight today, but that's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.